The opening reception for the exhibit, Ordinary Hangzhou, took place at Central Library on August 10th. This photo exhibit features images about the daily lives of citizens of Hangzhou, China, an Indianapolis sister city. Tonight is a very special occasion for us all as we are gathered to celebrate the opening of a wonderful new exhibit, Ordinary Hangzhou. This exhibit has been made possible thanks to the support and cooperation of the Indianapolis Public Library, the Hangzhou Public Library, the Indianapolis Hangzhou Sister City Committee, and the American China Society of Indiana. What makes this evening even more special is that we are joined by our friends from the Sister City Committee and also two very special friends from the Hangzhou Public Library, our honored guests, Xiao Xi and Jun Wei, or Joe and Julie as we have come to know them. The reception featured traditional Chinese food and music and remarks about the exhibit from a range of individuals in attendance. I think that is the part of a new city that I would really want to know. A lot of times when you go to a, a new city, but you, you usually go to the tourist attractions and you see a side of a city um, that really is not reflective of the identity of the city. So I think it's great that we are not seeing glitzy, you know, I'm sure there are glitzy part of Hangzhou that you can see, but not that this is not glitzy, but what you see is a normal, ordinary life, and I think that's brilliant. So for folks that have never, not had a chance to visit Hangzhou, they get to see what ordinary life is, you know, running on a track, you know, rainy day in Hangzhou, which is very different because you have a lot more people. For folks that are here in, in, in the Chinese nationals residing in Indianapolis, I think it always shows them a boost of confidence to know, right, that that the city is committed to building relationships with China. And so they know that there are only going to be more opportunities, maybe more exchanges. And I think that, you know, that would excite them because they might open up new opportunities for them that they have not seen yet today. We are very happy to have so many people here tonight for this exhibit. And uh, I know, you know, our country is becoming more and more influential, but I'm not quite sure that if foreigners, you know, people living in different cultures, they know about Chinese people, you know, about the um, true moments in our daily life, how we eat and how we commute. And, uh, and they, they know that we have a very large population, but they don't see the picture of it. So I'm very happy to have this shown to people living here. And I just want people to enjoy it. I want them to understand it, and I want them to embrace it uh, because it's really important. As you know, I spend a lot of time in the service, and the reason people in the service have to go do what they have to do is because people don't understand each other across the cultures, and we have to do a much better job of that. And that's why this is important. That's why it's always been important to me to do this sort of thing. The exhibit Ordinary Hangzhou can be viewed through September 30th during regular central library.